Okay, welcome to 1D8 plus 1 Alien Wars. And we're going to go here. Uh, I'm going to do Signal Heal Drive. That's N13 16CV type thing here. Alright. Now on that type of thing. I need a pen. And I don't have a piece of paper nearby. So let's do that. In 1316CV. Uh, let's see, I don't think that was right. That's a map book. Uh, signal Hill, M1316CV. Okay, alright. Now, in that type of thing, there's the beginning of the book. And there's this complexity, there's this grid type thing. Not that that's right. And it's at 16. So that's 16 here, take the that type of scent. And I think it turned at page 16. Yes, sir, is right. Okay. That's page 16. So that's checked. And we've got M13 remaining. And so now we find grid. And that's P O N M. And that's 13 on page 16, so M13. And that is, uh, should be the street. And somewhere in there. And that is right. And that's, that's here. And that's near uh, Norman Dye Golf Club in St. Charles Rock Road. That is interesting. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. uh, let's see. Uh, CV. Uh, probably off of Cool Valley. And that's probably the city that it's associated with. So. That's cool. I don't want to show the exact street type thing, but. That is. Somewhat right. And. Uh, somewhat wrong type thing, but, uh, that is, that is right. And there's a couple of hill streets within Cool Valley there that I'm looking at. And on through to the golf club here. Mm, they said M, well, actually, I think that's right. That's M15. That's 14. That's 13. Yep, man, there we go. Off of 70. And... Not sure if you can see that, but that is the the hill street that they're mentioning there. So anyway, that's how you use a map book. And so the second number type thing, let's go ahead and drop that down, put a grid around it. It's M13 type thing. That's the grid. And I went with M15 here, then 14, then 13. And then from the grid, that's a 16 type thing. That's grid. And that's a 16, that's the page. So grid, page, and then the CV type thing, that's a city. Just like that. So, but that's uh, A, B, and C. It's A, B, and C, which means the page is B, or the second number mentioned type thing. And that's what makes these books kind of confusing. So that was page 16, and grid M13. And then there, page 16, then grid 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, P O N M M 13, that's M 15, M 14, and M 13 right there. And then your street should be within this box here. So within that box there is the street. And that's how you use a map grid. A map this thing. And from there, there's a legend, and those are the corresponding grids. This is broken down. So if you just wanted to look at Forest Park, you wouldn't have to look in the back. You could probably look at the page that's over that number type thing there. And let's see here. Uh, sometimes they include. Uh, yep. Here's an example, and also how to use a street guide. Uh, that's how they read the pages. They used to blow the page number up with the example of that thing, but 
We don't see that anymore. It's just pure text. So that's awesome. Pure text, go ahead and grid. That's perfect. <laughs> so, uh, perfect picture icon landmarking uh, for doing it, especially since you have to turn the page numbers. But that's cool. That is cool. And you see there, and you see the page thing, and then, and not the street name. And so, because that was the uh, court or the turnabout type thing, and not you know, just a regular street. You have to look for the CT at the end in abbreviation. So, yep, gotta look out for those mistakes. And a pretty great book type thing. And that's how you read a map book. I uh, just thought people should know that, uh, just in case they're like, hey, man, those things, and you've got longitude and latitude, those things are wrong, man, wrong. <laughs> yeah, they're not wrong, they're cool, they're cool. All right, have a great one. Thanks for listening.